Stephanie. I'm L'Oreal. And, and we, we are Happily Ever, Ever Elementary. We're so excited to bring you guys a really simple, easy classroom decoration, party decoration, just the cutest garland we saw on Pinterest. It can be used in de definitely a lot of different ways. You could even use the skills that we're going to show you right now to make other kinds of paper fan inspired crafts. But for the most part, we just think it would decorate any space beautifully. Yes, and we found this on a blog on Pinterest. And we're gonna link the original post below so you guys can check it out there too. But this is just gonna be a how-to video on how to create it on your own. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is whatever colored paper you'd like. We went ahead and bought this rainbow pack at Hobby Lobby using a coupon and a stapler. The first step is to take one piece of paper at a time and you're gonna um, have your paper long ways and you're gonna make an accordion fold. Folding it about an inch each time. Once you have your paper in your accordion fold, you're going to go ahead and fold it in half, long ways, and then what you're going to do is take the inner pieces right here, press them together, and then just use your staple to adhere them. Just like that. You're going to do that with all of your fans for all of your papers before you assemble. The next step is going to be assembling your garland. So now that you have all your fans made, you're going to put them together and you're going to make sure that they're facing the opposite way. Once they're facing the opposite, you want to make sure that you have two sides that are not folded facing up. You're going to try to get two staples in there. The best way to get a staple is, is to kind of lift them up so that you can get the paper and the stapler. And we're going to want one on top and one on the bottom. And you're going to just continue this step until you've created your garland. our rainbow fan garland so easy literally two materials we did choose to use cardstock and it seems really sturdy but paper would work just fine so any kind of paper any type of material would make for a beautiful garland we love sharing these classroom ideas with you guys this one happens to be something that we look forward to using as a border for a bulletin board or even um, additional banner swags when we're decorating um, spaces in our classroom so we're super excited to be using these if you like videos and videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We put out videos very often with other DIYs just like this. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and we hope to see you guys soon.